years ago we thought about doing a haunted trail out here and we joked about how we would call them the haunted woods of Lady Lake. I was in my barn one night playing some music when I looked at the door and I saw my wife, I thought, standing outside the door smiling at me. I waved to her to come on in, went about my business. A few minutes later, I looked over, she was still standing there looking at me, so I waved to her again and said louder, come on in, the door's not locked, come on in. Went about my business. A few seconds later, I noticed she was still there. She hadn't opened the door, and I yelled at her, the door's not locked, it's open. Come on in. And she still didn't move. So I walked over to the door, and I looked, and she was gone. So I thought she was trying to play a trick on me, so I ran out the door myself and ran down to the end of the barn and turned the corner only to find no one there. So I ran quickly to the other corner and turned around expecting to see her standing there and she wasn't there either. So I ran down to the third and final angle before I could turn to where I was and turn the corner and she still wasn't there. So I thought to myself, that's awful strange. So I raced inside to find out if she was trying to scare me and I found her and she was dead asleep. She was in a deep sleep and I had to rustle her to get her to come out of the sleep and I asked her if she was out there and she said, I don't know what you're talking about. That's when I was a little perplexed because I knew I'd seen a woman standing out my barn door. So we decided to hold the haunted woods and my wife decided we needed a story to come up with the haunted woods so she came up with a story about a woman by the name of Julia that was killed in the woods and haunted the woods on the full moon. Well, after that, we told that story that year, and after that year, that's when the woman at the door scene happened in my barn. So I started looking around for possible explanations online and stumbled across the haunted woods of Lady Lake off of Rolling Acres Road. I was astounded to see that more than 70 years ago, a woman really was killed in the woods out here strange coincidences. Her name was Julia, the same name my wife came up with the year before. Julia haunts the woods on the half moon, not the full moon. The next year, while trying to build the haunted woods, myself and two other adults and one teenager were working on some of the wood when we heard the sound of a baby crying inside the woods. I've got six kids, so I know what the sound of a baby crying is. We raced out into the woods and searched for more than an hour and a half until we were certain that there was no baby in the woods. And yet, we all heard it. Twenty years ago, a woman who lives next door to the haunted woods had a little girl die of crib death. The amazing coincidence is her name was Julia. There's been more than five people killed who've had connections with the haunted woods of Lady Lake since we began this little job. Those five people either worked directly with me or were volunteers during our woods. And I wonder sometimes if the next occurrence was because the woods were angry. In December of 2020, our roommate was struck ill, was taken to the hospital, and released five days later. The very next day, she was found unresponsive in her bed, having passed away. Her name was Julia. We don't know if the haunted woods are real. You can check that out for yourself. Mr. Lucky Man 007. Peace.